How to write a book title. Writing a great book title can be almost as difficult as writing the actual book. With a little patience and some creative thinking, you can create the perfect title to your book that entices readers to pick it up off the shelf and dive into the wondrous story you've created. A great title is memorable, intriguing, and gives just a hint at the story within. Gathering title inspiration. Know what kind of book you're writing. Your title will vary depending on what kind of book you are writing. Nonfiction titles can be creative, but should be more descriptive of what the book is about. Fiction titles can be more mysterious or creative. The title is the first thing your readers will read. The title needs to give readers some idea of what's inside the book, entice, and be informative. If you have a nonfiction book like a series of essays, or a biography, your title should be more to the point. Fiction or genre stories like horror, fantasy, science fiction, and mystery, should be creative and entice readers to want to know more, offering intrigue. Use words that are commonly associated with certain genres to start. A mystery novel could use a title like The Mysterious Road Forks. Readers will identify this title with mystery, unanswered questions, and a plot involving a strange road. Fantasy and science fiction titles can include made-up names or places, or words of magic. The Signal from Vander could be a title to a science fiction book that tells of a strange alien signal from a faraway planet named Vander. Identify major themes in the plot. Every book, fiction or nonfiction has at least one major theme, and even nonfiction stories follow some type of plot. Write down what your themes and plot are in one paragraph. Think about what your characters do throughout your story. What sort of moral dilemmas do these characters deal with? If your book is about a hero or group of heroes conquering evil, then your theme deals with good versus evil. Perhaps you have a fictional story that takes place in the real world. Are your characters dealing with growing older, moving on to another stage in life, hiding a secret, death, or something else? If you have a nonfiction book, ask yourself why you are writing this book. Are you writing a series of essays about a specific event because you feel compelled to inform others? Maybe you're exploring some aspect of history that you are inspired by. Whatever kind of book you're titling, write a paragraph that summarizes your themes and plots putting yourself in the reader's shoes. Knowing this information, ask yourself what you would want to see in a title for this book. Perhaps you want to know that it is a history of some event. Or you might want to know that you'll be reading a coming-of-age tale. Understanding your plot will also help to craft a title that doesn't completely give away your plot. You don't want the readers to know everything about the unfolding story within without having to open the book up. Think about setting and time period. Where and when the story inside of your book takes place will help you dictate what kind of language to use in your title. A medieval tale may not use modern words or language. A spy novel set in the modern day may deal with hacking and computers. Your title should aim reflect these aspects. For example, instead of using the word soldier in a medieval setting, you may opt for knight. Settings and time periods can also be a great place to start when titling. If your story were about a group of climbers ascending a large mountain, think about the words you could use based on that information alone. Words like mountain, summit, peak are all precise nouns that inform and intrigue, too. Search for your title ideas online. Search online for titles that may be floating around in your head. Not only will you find out if a particular title already exists, but you may find further inspiration. You don't want to name your book something that already exists, especially if it's a best-selling book. This will make it harder for people to find your work if you publish your book. Searching for phrases online can also point you in a new direction that you may not have thought of before. You might find that instead of using the word tale in your title, the word adventure or fable sounds better for what you've written. Look at the titles of your favorite books. In addition to searching for titles online, go to your own bookshelf and study the titles of your favorite books. Think about, or even write down, a short answer as to why you picked up a particular book in the first place. Even if you were referred to a book by a friend or read it in school, you probably saw or heard the title before you knew much else about the book. Were you drawn to this book because the title intrigued you and you wanted to know the story underneath? Books like The Great Gatsby are loved in part because of the fantastic storytelling and quality of writing. But the title does the legwork before you get to uncover that story. The Great Gatsby gives you an idea of what the book is about. But if you knew nothing, great sounds wondrous, strong, and compelling. What is great? Who is great? Gatsby is an interesting and precise noun. It sounds like a name, but it could be something else. A title like this is simultaneously informative, and mysterious. It's only until you've read the book, that you can look back and understand the title completely.